Namaskara. I'm Dr. Sunita Rana Agarwal from Dr. Agarwal Hospitals, 15 Eagle Street, Bangalore 25. And I'm an eye surgeon as well as a genetic surgeon as well as administrating stem cell therapy. Headache usually occurs as a result of either increased pressure on the eye, dryness of the eye, allergies in the eye, infections in the eye. But one of the most important things will also be cluster headache, which we have on the base of the neck. And this is more stress-induced, physical, mechanical, social, emotional, any stress will straight hit you like that. Now, why do we feel that pressure more in the eye? It's because of the nerve supply. It's the nerves. Our cornea is one of the most important areas which has been flooded with nerves. And the reason is we want to protect our eye. We want to close our eye if there's anything coming onto it. The same thing happens when it puts in more pressure by allergies or infections or anything, or you have trauma, anything is going to increase all that and thereby the nerves of the eye get excited very fast. This results in headache. What I have seen in our practice, most important cause for headache is dryness of the eye. If the eye is too dry, it will relate in headache. And this headache will now go up till here, this way, it'll go this way. If the eye has no water, it's like if my hand is dry, I cannot put it in half a bucket of water. I have to put some cream on my hand. The moisture from the air will enter the cream and thus make my hand moist. Similarly, in the eye, we have mucus. This mucus must absorb the water, thereby it will give the water to the rest of the eye cells. How do we increase the mu mucus? We can increase the mucus by putting in a silicon plug. These are lacrimal silicon plugs patented and made in the US for the little tiny canal that we have which takes the water of our eye into the nose. We close this canal with the silicon plug. Thereby, we have two canals. We close one of them. We are able to retain the mucus in the eye for some more time. Second and third things that we should be doing is using a night cream at night, taking a vitamin tablet, using artificial tears, especially if you're doing jobs like yours, camera or TV or computer or mobile phone also. And lastly, use an anti-reflective coating glass on your nose. Even if you don't have power, just because it's got an anti-reflective coating, Call it a technology glass and use it against the computer screen, against the television, any video display terminal. Next, when you come back from outside in today's world, please wash your face, wash your eyes, keeping your eyes open. Because there's so much of deleterious material floating around and this kind of produces a foreign body, thereby allergic reactions. And since our eyes are already too dry, we are not able to combat that allergic reactions at all. 